Okay, guys, welcome back to another Tuesday tip, surveying with Robert. Yeah, I know, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I promise I'm going to try to keep up with them this time. I think I said that last time, too. Anyways, um, plan today is uh, Trimble Link. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to use Trimble Link. Trimble Link is a program that goes into Civil 3D, and it lets you... Um, take files out of Simple 3D, convert it to a file that you can bring to the data collector. So what I'm going to show you today is how to install Trimble Link, and I'm going to show you how to take like a, um, um, a surface file out of um, AutoCAD, Simple 3D, take that surface out and take it to the data collector. So, ho, oh, you guys watch this, let me get everything going. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you want to do, you want to jump into Google, you want to do Trimble. Go find Trimble. You're going to notice there's a support A to Z over here on the right hand side. So this support A to Z is where we're headed, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get there through the Trimble website. Support and training, support A to Z. Okay, we're going to do T for Trimble. We're coming down here and we're looking for Trimble Link. Now you're going to notice there's two Trimble Link files in here. There's one that says Trimble Link. The other one says Trimble Link for current AutoCAD Civil 3D. That one's going to be for 2020, which is actually what I'm running right now. But let's go to just Trimble Link. So this is going to be for the older version. So if we go to Downloads and look, and we say Trimble Link for earlier AutoCAD releases. Okay, you're gonna see 2019, 18, 17, all the way back to Land Desktop 2006 that you can actually bring Trimble Link into, okay? So I've got 2020, so I would say I, I would need to download this version, the newest version. Um, so when you click on it, bada bing, download. I've already done this, hence the two on it. Actually, I've done it a couple times. Um, okay, you're going to download this and then you're going to bring this into, uh, you're going to install it into Civil 3D. So once you do this and you run the program and then install it, once you have it installed, when you go in and open up Civil 3D, You're going to notice that Trimble Link is installed. It's going to be on the tab over here on the far right hand side. So once it installs Trimble Link, once you click on anything in here, it's going to should pop up a box. Uh, it's going to redirect you. Okay. So it's going to redirect you so you can register. So there's a blue link down at the bottom where it says access code. Don't freak out because you're like, oh, I don't have an access code. Click on the blue link, fill out the form. Once you fill out the form, you submit it then it will immediately it will pop up another screen and that screen will have your access code copy that access code paste it into the spot that it says boom you're good to go okay i would show you how to do it but i would have to uninstall um civil 3d 2020 and have to reinstall it and wow i am not going to do that i'd take the rest of the day so um so here's what we've got so once you've done that, you're registered, you've entered in your code and everything, you should be good. So now I want to export a surface file. So what I want to do is first, let's go in, let's go to drawing utilities. And I know that this project, first of all, is US survey feet. And it's going to be in Louisiana. Oh, and it's going to be States Plain Survey, Survey Zone Southern. We're going to say okay. That's all good. The other thing I want to check to make sure is that my um, units are also set. 
to U.S. survey feet. Okay, I don't want you to chew me that again. Okay. Okay, so I got that all set up. So now uh, what I need to do is import a surface. So what I'm going to do, I actually have a service that I took out of, uh, it was a um, presentation I did for a client. So I actually have an XML surface that I took out of Business Center and brought over to AutoCAD. So let's go uh, land XML. Let's go to this one. We're going to say open. We're going to say OK. It's going to do its thing. And it's going to use the style that I have set up, which I really haven't set up a style, but it's going to use the style uh, that's set up for my services. So here's the surface. This was taken off of a um, some drone data that I did. Actually, it's the drone data I showed you guys in the video I just did. Okay, so here it is. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to Tremble Link. I'm going to say Export Surface File. I'm going to say New uh, Surface. I'm going to say U.S. Survey Feet. Okay. That's the service I want to export. So on the desktop, um, I'm just going to call it Trim Link. Okay. So now that I have that, now then, what we want to do is I want to take that file and I want to. Um, Desktop, trim the link, copy. So now you'd be doing the, pretty much the same thing that I'm doing here. You would do like on 2019.01 or something like that. So um, I'm going to go to C drive and I'm going to go to program data, Trimble. In this case, I'm going to go to my emulator, Trimble data, projects. Let's go to field work and I'm going to paste it, okay? So, now then, let's go in here and let's open up my emulator so I can show you guys um, emulator 2019.01. Okay, so if you don't know what emulator is, basically uh, it's access that I can run on my computer to do different things. So we're gonna say field work open we'll say tremble link um, let's see no I'm just gonna create a new job um, I'm gonna call it tremble link 2 because I've already done this once uh, scale select from library we're going to say Louisiana Whoops, wrong way. Louisiana South. We're going to use a geoid model. I'm going to use 12B because I haven't got 2018 loaded in here yet. Um, we're going to say 90 foot. US survey feet. Enter. Store. I'm just going to change this real quick. That's all I'm worried about. Okay, so now then if I go to my base layer here, there's Tremble Link. I say accept. There's my surface. So um, that quick, I can take surface. So now if I wanted to, I'd go stake it out. I could do whatever. I can just go to stake out, stake out DTM, and it's going to have this file in there, and then I can lay it out, and then it's going to give me my cut and fill. So you take this, overlay a DXF file with it. Life is good. You can actually go out and survey something. You can go stake out a project or whatever. So anyways, hope that helps, guys. Um, sorry about not getting these Tuesday tips out as often as I had planned on. But, hey, man, stay busy. What can I say? So, um, you guys, stay safe out there. Don't hurt yourselves. Um, hopefully fall's fixing to be here soon. Weather will be really nice. Deer season's coming. I can feel it in my bones. So you guys be safe out there. Um, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Take care.